Okay, we zoomed in, I'll take the lid off, and notice the bubbles on this cell which has not been touched for a day. Notice the activity. Notice that some bubbles have just died now because the lid is off. It doesn't like here. When you're not using your cells, please put the lids back on. Notice the foam, notice the surface tension. Only a stage free cell will look like this after a day. As you know, the other two cells after a minute went back to being clear. What I want to do now is to show the pulsating or the living force energy or the conversion of the excess organ into electricity by showing you what happens at the surface of the water. To do that, I must remove this froth. I'll do that by using a little um, paper towel, as you can see, and I will remove enough froth off the top so you can see the pulsation when the cell is first turned on. This pulsation lasts and keeps going, but because the bubbles build up, they cover the pulsations and you will not be able to see it. Okay, now what's going to happen is that bubbles are going to form just like in a stage 2 cell. The bubble formation is going to be slightly different. Instead of jumping from compartment to compartment, it's going to seem to cover the whole lot at a reasonable speed, but then you see it pulsing in pockets at the top of the cell as the excess density is converted to electricity. Remember this is a stage 3 cell that is breeding. That water is as full of organ as it can get. I'm now going to connect the lead. Please watch this. The lead is on. Here's the action. Very, very similar to stage 2 at the very, very start. It is spreading out in a field. It is covered. And now you will see a pulsation in each compartment pulsing as the excess organ is being converted to electricity, static electricity. You will notice of course now that the cell is completely frothing different to the stage 2 cell, the white bubbles, they're pretty well the same size, the pulsation is still occurring under the bubbles and slowly you'll start losing the side of the pulsations as the froth gets thicker and thicker and you won't be able to see the water service anymore. So we are looking at a breeding stage free cell, a cell that can run a car, a cell that can be used for medicinal uses, a cell that's creating an excess of organ density that is being converted into electricity. If we watch this cell, that froth is going to get higher and higher and higher. Eventually, it will fill a container and it will overflow as Joe has demonstrated. But instead of using 25 amps and 50 amps, for all these cells I have used 1 amp, 12 volts. I can speed up the action to any speed you like. If I put a match to that cell at the moment, it will do exactly what Joe says. It will pull your ears in, it will ring, it will get rid of your neighbours, all the interesting things that this cell can do. We are not interested in doing that because noise is detrimental to a negative cell and will take a quite a considerable period of time to build up charge again. As you can see, the action is continuous while I've been talking. I've probably been roving on now for about a minute. The bubble activity is going on. As I say, if you're interested in creating froth, which we're not about, all you have to do now is increase the power to this cell and it would have been flung over the sides by now. So we look at a living stage free cell.